Happy on Brawl Wednesday, everybody. Hope it's fan today. Just a quick one. What keep it so long? I ain't done no brewing this week. Well, last week, so I was on call, so I couldn't really do it out. I'm not going to do no brewing during the, this week. But hopefully, try and do maybe, maybe get one in that weekend. See how it goes. I want to try and do the. Forgot the name. Whole melon happy here. Eh? I've got that in the tank at the moment. That's been uh, four weeks, five weeks, and it really is nice. I'm trying to drink other beers, and trying to save that as, best, as long as I can. But that's another one. So I've got the, the hops for that, and I've got a few grains to do that. So I try and get them done. I won't mind giving you know, Tom, bro, Tom beer a go at coconut shy IPA. That sounds a cracking drink. He, he brewed it a while ago. Then he did a brew, did the same brew for the Idle Valley Tap. And it went down a storm. I don't think it, I don't think it lasted two days before they ran out of beer. And they brewed it again. So it does sound the cracking drinks. I'm not too sure if Tom will give the recipe out. Might be a trade secret. But we can always ask. So that's another brew. Um, I've still got the drop kit in the fridge. That's bubbling away. So I've dragged out that at weekend. With about 100 grams of hops or maybe more. It's more sops I've used in one brew and it smells really nice. It's been in there about four days, I think. Still got a London bitter to rack into secondary and the, I don't know what it was, the stout kit I did, just a cheap kit, cup of stout. I thought I'll do a, an experimental brew. And this is it, this is that um, butterscotch flavour. When I put the first, when I first put it into primary, I thought, oh, it smells really nice, the butterscotch. Then the, the, the smells disappeared. Bottled it at weekend. You, you get a slight smell of the butterscotch. Not a lot. And you don't really get it on the taste. It, see what it's like when I leave it to age a little bit. See how it goes. So it's only been in a bottle four days. May give it a go in a couple of weeks. See how it goes. But it's still got the stout kit taste. What I can taste. So, but say so that might disappear, we'll see how it goes. So I maybe should have put them into smaller bottles, but because it came out at 8.6%. So I'll see, I can't drink too much of that. So I'm still waiting for a few more bits to come from the shopping, which haven't come yet. Another big purchase I've done, because some people might have already seen it on Facebook. Get in bad boys. Three more kegs. I ain't got a big enough freezer enough to put them in. So I can get two in the fridge and I'll have to leave the other three in the cupboard or in the shed to condition age. Which ain't, which ain't bad. So trying to get away from bottling as much as I used to. I've still got a load of bottles in the shed, which I'm using I'm saving the glass bottles, but disposing of the plastic pet bottles, because I've had them since I first started. So I could do with some new ones. But me idea is so I bought the three kegs three for 94 quid I think it was maybe even less that was including packaging from the art home brew shop in Ireland so they've all come pressurized so the, the, the seam top notch just need to give them a good clean out like I do with the rest of them and um, so I've got them to sort out to fill up which is one will be the Yorkshire bit going in one the drop kit nail will be going in and if I do another app here that um whole melon I might stick that in I was thinking about putting this, this stout in it, but the stout would be in there for yonks. And I it would just take me ages drinking it, and I didn't want to take up too much of a keg. So, I need a bigger fridge freezer. The door, the sun's got one. Ah, Missy said, no, I can't have it. So you can sod off. So I can't really put that in there. So, I'll shit out on that one. But that's not to worry, I've, got, I've got, still got the taps to fit onto the bloody fridge freezer. I need to get a drip tray. I put the, the, there's one on Brew UK, what I want, and I think it's the, the 10 inch one, but it's out of stock at the moment. Put a reset, not reserve. I can't remember name. And I lay it on it when it comes back into stock, but it's not, I haven't come back into stock yet. So I may have to get two, maybe, maybe six inch ones, smaller ones, and have one separate for each tap. We'll see. So I've got the, the taps to put on the front of the keg, front of the fridge. Once they're on there, stick two kegs in there, then. Happy as picking shit. So and I can't wait to get these filled up. And I, th I think that's it folks. Not much has happened at this end. 
So I'm quite chuffed that I say I got like I say I got this keg getting filled up. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna order some more ops. I need some more grains. So I'm gonna get some more grains ordered and maybe order the grains, the hops for the supercharger. So I've seen all the reviews coming in over the last week or so and it looks spot on. So I'll maybe get that done. There's that many brews I wanna do and I ain't got enough space to put them all. Because ideally I want to put them in the fermentation fridge. But so only having one. Stuffed, stuffed, stuffed. So it's supposed to be winter, but a bit cooler, so I have to put something in the bed in the bedroom. So right then, I've ruffled on. Bolt out really. So so yep. Yeah. Anyway, I love you and leave you and I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching, thanks for the new subscribers, much appreciated. And I'll catch you all soon and Keep posting everything and I'll try and watch as much as I can. Same as I try and comment and read as much as I can during you know, on the night time. And I told you I was fucking just waffling on. Anyway, cheers guys, thanks a lot. Catch you later. Bye.